This is the El, Pound, El Paso County Coliseum, a packed house, a restive crowd, nearly 9,000 people here. The fighters have just been introduced. That is one, Laporte. He was raised in Brooklyn, though born in Puerto Rico. He gets a title shot. He has had, as you can see, 16 fights, 115, lost one. That was a bad decision. He has had eight knockouts. He is a good puncher, but his opponent is one of the best fighters around. Inch for inch and pound for pound. Salvador Sanchez, and that is his record. And hello again, everyone. It's good to have you with us in El Paso. It's my first trip here. I found it to be a truly remarkable city. Temperature outside, about 80 degrees, a real summer-like day. And they're excited about this fight in El Paso. They should be. Sanchez is, in effect, a local hero, and he is, comes off a remarkable year. The bell for round one. Let's pick up with the action. I must remember this about Sanchez in the blue trunks. He is a superb counter-puncher and has the quickness of hands to have a very effective right lead, which he often uses. Right there, he came with a left. Laporte is, as I said at the very beginning of the telecast, a good puncher, but he hasn't fought real world-class opposition. And he may be in over his head. We'll find out about that in a hurry. His veteran manager, Howie Albert, who used to be co-manager with Gil Clancy of Emil Griffith, says the kid is ready. Albert is one of the men in Laporte's corner. It was quick action, as you saw in the first few seconds of the round. Sanchez had some difficulty making the weight. He came in at 126 and a quarter, had to spend a half hour or so getting rid of that quarter pound excess. So he's at 126. Laporte at 124 and a half. Sanchez knows how to work a fighter. He knows how to use a ring, though this is a smallish ring. 18 by 18. Wild left by Laporte that missed. Got to be careful about that. Can leave himself open for Sanchez's best weapon, the counter punch. WBC rules. The referee is Davey Pearl. Veteran, tell you more about him as we go. Three judges will be doing the scoring. One from Mexico City, one from Texas, and one from Los Angeles. Mandatory eight count, of course. Three knockdown rule wave. No saving by the bell except the end of the... 15th and final round if it goes that far. So there are the nuts and bolts. Watch the action. yards from the Mexican border. If that, Juarez, of course, the sister city of El Paso. We are coming to the end of round one. Round two just underway. World featherweight title. WBC version at stake. Sanchez, Blue Trunks defending. Juan Laporte of Brooklyn, the challenger, in the red trunks. Ten-point must scoring system, of course, under WBC rules. Laporte is unafraid, and he is fighting before a truly hostile crowd. A crowd that loves Sanchez. Sanchez, excellent upper body strength. Was oh, strongly built in that regard. You saw how quick Sanchez's hands are. But Laporte tries to be the aggressor and pulls him against the ropes. He 
Avery Pearl, the third man in the ring. Worked the second home shaver's bout. Worked the Holmes Ledoux fight, if you want to call it that. One of the least memorable in history in Minneapolis. Was lucky to get out of the ring alive. And the flame crowd was all over him for stopping a fight that I felt he should have stopped early. This is second round action. Sanchez usually starts slowly. That was true against Ruben Castillo, the skilled boxer who built up a good lead. Sanchez came in the final, came on the final five rounds to win. Also against Patrick Ford, a tremendous fighter from Guyana. Forty, using the right knee. Crowd came alive with a Sanchez left. It wasn't nearly as good as it looked. Sanchez has that characteristic which applies to most fighters of Mexican vintage. Tremendous ability to absorb punishment. And he can paralyze you with the famed Mexican liver blow. Round two, about to close out. Round three. Running underway, Salvador Sanchez, WBC featherweight champion defending to the left of your screen. Juan Laporte, the challenger from Brooklyn, New York. Each fighter 21 years of age. Between rounds, it appeared for a moment that they were working over the right eyebrow of Sanchez, but I see no evidence of a cut. Laporte, Showing a lot of guts and aggressiveness in the first two rounds, but it's so early. Quick combination by Sanchez. Remember, he is a quick-handed fighter. That's why he's able to risk the right lead and use it so effectively. Jorge trying to carry the battle. Sanchez against the ropes. Sanchez finally getting to ring center. Laporte had a long and great career as an amateur fighter. Won the Golden Gloves one year in the flyweight division. I'd like to alert our local stations along the line that we'll be taking a station break at the end of this round. scoring there. Forte getting the jab in. Again the jab. you have to watch now for is Laporte dropping that left and Sanchez getting in with the counter right he keeps it poised ready we'll be back with more of ABC's wide world of sports after this word from our local stations
Round four, WBC World Featherweight title belt. So far, the youngster on the right, Juan Laporte, is doing surprisingly well. But we've grown accustomed to Sanchez's pace. He always starts slowly. Good right gotten in there by Laporte. Kid is fighting aggressively. In his corner, Carlos Espada, Howie Albert, whom I've already talked about, and as cut man, Jackie McCoy, one of the best. I think Howie Albert brought him in because Howie has saved the role of cut man in the second Anna Fermo mentor fight at Wembley in London, which I called, and he could not stop the Anna Fermo flow of blood. He's learned his lesson well in bringing in Jackie McCoy. Fourth round action. If there has been a growing weakness in Sanchez, it would seem to be his growing disdain for defense. He has a rock-like chin. Patrick Ford hit him some blows that would have felled a tree, but not Sanchez. And that can become a risky proposition. about that youngster Laporte especially in view of the fight the fact that he's only had 16 fights is his ability to get through to Sanchez's face pretty much as he wants and I see some swelling growing under Sanchez's eyes that's the familiar chant you hear at the Olympics may he go may he go That became the theme song of the 1968 games. Don't forget this Friday night on ABC in prime time, that curious ending to what had been a great fight until Duran quit. Roberto Duran against Sugar Ray Leonard. Now you'll get a chance to see it for yourselves. And you'll hear it as I called it that night. We're winding down in round four now. And Laporte is putting on a good show. See that right get in there? End of the round, dead hand. Round five. And Laporte to the right of your screen, the red trunks, if you're watching in color, now to the left against Sanchez, defending champion in the blue. And during the course of the round, if we get a close gander at Sanchez's face, look at the puffiness developing under each eye. It's not major yet, but it shows you how Laporte has been scoring to the Sanchez head. He's used his reach effectively. Laporte has right there two misses so far Sanchez not responding with the kind of counter punching that we've known him to possess first time by Sanchez and he got it in there tremendously effective blow probably his most effective In this round, Sanchez appears... Oh, a good right by Laporte. You just saw it. That stung Sanchez. Tough 
a cookie as he is, that stung him. But this round, Sanchez is working more methodical, boxing better than he has in the prior four rounds, using that left jab to set up whatever it is he may set up. See Davy Pearl, the third man in the ring, staying out of the fighter's way. Close enough to intercede when called for. He's doing the right thing. Laporte there with a quick right. Occasionally he'll go to the midriff. Haven't really seen Sanchez's hand speed in this fight yet either. Not the way it was against Ford. And we are coming to the end of round five. Back for round six, live El Paso, and there was the Laporte right that we told you about and that you saw in round five. Laporte to the right of your screen, and now Sanchez to the right of your screen. In round five, Sanchez began to become workmanlike, using the jab, using the ring. He was out in center ring, the earlier Pinioning against the ropes of Sanchez by Laporte, not in evidence in the last two rounds. Round six. Notice that Sanchez is now fighting it his way. There has not been any effective scoring in this round. Sanchez using the head better in this round. Slipping blows, ducking him, a good right by Sanchez. Certainly Sanchez dominated in that exchange. Sanchez is now beginning to hurt him. It is happening quickly, but you can see Sanchez dominating this fight now. Whether or not will continue, it will continue remains to be seen. Yes, we are live from El Paso, Texas. Oh, there's that right lead that hurt Laporte. Laporte's left eye appears to be swollen and swan shutting quickly. This is where Sanchez can kill you when he starts to go to the belly. Oh, you saw that right. He will take that left eye apart if he can. It's an ugly, brutal business, but it's the way it is as we come within the final 20 seconds of round six. This was a very good round for Sanchez. The flow of the fight changed last round, and certainly the Coliseum. And Sanchez to the left of your screen against Laporte to the right. In the last two rounds, you see that Sanchez is again the purposeful fighter we have come to know him to be. Movement is going out of Laporte's legs. Those Sanchez blows to the body started to do that. steadily now in ring center when there was rope action last round it was Laporte who was against the ropes showing you again the change in the flow of the contest 
Earlier it had been Sanchez. Sanchez moving down to the belly. With consistency now. Down and up. Seventh round action. But the way the left eye of Laporte is swollen. Sanchez working the jab, following with a good right. Like to alert our local stations along the line, we'll be taking a station break at the end of this round. Steady work now with that Sanchez left. The fight in a pattern. There's that right that's so punishing. Another Sanchez round. We'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this word from our local stations. We're back live in El Paso, Texas. Round eight just getting underway. In the last three rounds, Salvador Sanchez has taken charge of this fight. The beleaguered manager, Howie Albert, giving terse instructions to Laporte between rounds, but their instructions he's heard before. His problem will be now the ability to execute. There you saw the right Sanchez lead. Sanchez is looking forward to a showdown fight against Wilfredo Gomez. And what a battle that would be if and when it takes place. Eighth round action. Fight being scored by three judges. A Mexican. One from Los Angeles. One from Texas. Ten point must scoring system. There have been no knockdowns in this fight. Not yet. It's a workmanlike Sanchez now. The board A missing, and you saw the attempted slap with the back of the hand and the cautioning by Davy Pearl. Sanchez picked off those attempted blows by Laporte. Seems to fight the same way in every fight, Sanchez. Starts very slowly. Then begins to take over. That's what you call counter-punching. You saw Laporte miss and quickly Sanchez was in there. That right scored well by Sanchez. It looks like it will expire uneventfully. And so the end of round eight. Fine, and that's what's at stake here in El Paso, Texas. We're coming to you live. Laporte trying to get a right in quickly. And you saw he 
partially got the first one in, totally missed with the second one. They worked over a mouse under Laporte's left eye between rounds. Sanchez now making his fight. Laporte trying an uppercut, which Howie Albert told him that Sanchez was vulnerable to. Sanchez land effectively. Laporte half slipped there, but he was hurt. He was not staggered, but he was hurt. Laporte connected and hurt Sanchez. No quitting this kid. Had a lot of gizzard. Gets down low and works Laporte to the stomach. That's when the legs get weary. We're in the ninth round. A double miss by Laporte. Right eye is now swollen. Laporte's face. missing with the right scoring somewhat with the left Sanchez making his fight now systematically and in charge end of the round at hand. yes you will see the Leonard Duran fight in its entirety as I called it that night you will also see live another fight that figures to be a dilly Alberto Davila against Lupe Pintor. And will you see the way that fight ended for yourselves? Leonard against Durant. And hear what the people involved had to say that night before they had a chance to think. Round 10. Featherweight crown at stake, WBC version. Quick left by Laporte. It was his best combination, in fact, following with the right in the last four rounds. They worked furiously in the corner over both eyes. Mouse is under each eye now. Tenth round action. That's the last one. So far, it's a much improved round for Laporte. So far. But Sanchez beginning to connect again. That's what Sanchez loves. Get the opponent against the ropes, hunch over, work on the belly. He is a master at it. Those are the blows that debilitate an opponent. 
And Laporte not able yet to spin off those ropes. Espada in Laporte's corner imploring him to get off those ropes. Now he's trying to fight his way off them. And he came up for the beauty of an uppercut that stung Sanchez. A beauty. Sanchez is like granite. And back against the ropes with 30 seconds left in the round. And Sanchez doing it his way. Trying to go to that uppercut. Laporte was. We're going to stay between rounds and look at that uppercut. Right there, good right by Laporte, but quickly back Sanchez in the end of the round. Interesting round. All right. Action in the corner. Watch for the uppercut now. There it was, and you saw that head of Sanchez's go up. A good blow by Laporte. He came out fighting very well in the first half of that round, better than he had in the prior four. Then Sanchez got him against the ropes and worked him over. When he finally fought out Laporte from against the ropes, he did it with that uppercut that you just saw. Yes, it's been some year for Sanchez. Won the title, and this is already his fourth title defense. And what a man he won the title from. Little Red Lopez. And then beat him second time around. <laughs> round 11. Coming your way. There was the bell. And that's what's at stake. Salvador Sanchez. Blue trunks. Red trunks. Juan Laporte. Juan grew up in the Bedford Stuyvesant section of Brooklyn. Still lives in Brooklyn, only in the Bay Ridge section. Look at the concentration in Sanchez's eyes. How purposeful he is. Sam, pick off those last two blows by Laporte. For a second, Sanchez against the ropes, but he quickly spun off. Sanchez worked the left, doubled on it, tripled on it, and then a jarring right. Around. And 11, more than half out. If Sanchez has a weakness, might be in the absence of a knockout punch, a one-punch knockout capacity. That he does not have. round action we're into the final 30 seconds as you can see
is a hurt fighter as we come to the end of round 11. We're back and watch Sanchez. You just saw him deliver a right and a left. And that was the right that cut Laporte's eye open. It seemed to be a savage cut, but Jackie McCoy is a genius. That's why he's in Laporte's corner. And so the fight continues on. Referee Davey Pearl came over, examined, and he let the fight go on. It was just above the eye, just below the eyebrow. The right eye. A good left by Laporte. This kid, as I said, has lots of gizzard. He is against a fine, fine fighter. Missed with the left uppercut, missed with the right. Laporte did. And ever since, oh, that right lead, that John Laporte. The kid was a hurt fighter as the last round ended. I thought he might be ready to go. Sanchez just keeps working him over. Now the right gets through with increasing frequency. Sanchez is right. The left set it up there. See the blood from the corner of that right eye now? Laporte's eye. It's a nasty looking thing. This is the 12th round. And it would appear that it will not go much longer. Just in total charge now. But the kid doesn't go down, does he? 40 seconds left in the round. Inside the last 30 seconds. We're going to stay between rounds. Follow Juan Laporte into his corner. Watch Jackie McCoy go to work on him. It is, that's it. It had to end. Davy Pearl did the right thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He called it a push off. That's what he did. I thought he might have called the end of the fight, but no. He called it a push off. Now you're looking at Jackie McCoy. Working over that right eye of Juan Laporte. Now here's the push. The fight is back was to us. Pearl called it right. No question that it was a push rather than a solid blow. So he called it right. Nonetheless, the tide of this fight is totally clear. And... You see where that cut is? Below the eyebrow, above the eyelash, terrible spot for a cut because it destroys vision on the part of the fighter. And Sanchez comes out quickly, wants to get it over with. Meanwhile, Laporte with a quick right. Caution from Pearl to Sanchez on an apparent low blow.
13th round. Sanchez not flailing about, looking for the opportunity. Right there, right and then the left, wanting to end it. The blood again coming down out of the corner of that right eye of Laporte. of round 13 and Laporte throwing punches. There he was hurt there as he was staggered back into the ropes. The effectiveness of Sanchez's blows far greater at this point than Laporte's. Working down to the belly again. Now he's trying to put him away and he is not able to do it. a gutsy kid. Not once, as he said, no muss, no muss. And so round 13 will go into history. Round 14, that championship at stake. And for a moment, I thought they might be stopping it. Juan Laporte is a brave young man, maybe too brave for his own good. The way he keeps attempting to fight back, the kind of beating he's been getting could hurt his entire future. He's only 21, and he's proved himself to be a much better fighter than most people thought he was. drawing upon inner resources to manifest movement but he got caught there in ring center still fighting back as you see but the effective blows are being scored by Sanchez Good combination there by Laporte. As you saw, more than halfway into the 14th round. this fight the way Sanchez wanted to fight the fight began in the fifth round and you can see it plainly written in the way Salvador fought Kid trying to cover those eyes now so terribly vulnerable Look at the courage of Juan Laporte. We will stay. 
Utah. So we have a big evening for you on Friday night. Leonard and Duran, both live in the studio. Look at those eyes of Juan Laporte. That's Howie Albert leaning over him. Over in Sanchez's corner, Cristobal, Rosas, Dr. Jose Valenzuela. Final round. WBC featherweight title fight. Oh, there are such good fighters around in the lower weight classifications. Men like Gomez, Alexis Aguayo, of course, the welterweights, Leonard and Hearns. I salute Juan Laporte for his courage. He's had only 16 fights. Well, like to try and assess this kid's future against a granite chin like Sanchez's. He has not been able to show how effective his punch really is because he's quite capable of knocking out opponents in his weight classification. I hope that he has not been too damaged by this bout today because he should be a contender for a number of years to come. And who knows, with some luck, maybe even a champion. But this kind of thing, it'll be a lesson for him, I'm sure, but how much will it take out of him? Jackie McCoy leaning right down next to me. He, of course, did a superb job with those cuts of Laporte's in this fight. Simply superb job. Knockdowns in this fight. Another tribute to the youngster from Brooklyn. Still throwing punches. Still trying to fight back. And so it comes to an end. All right, we're back live, El Paso at ringside in the Kearney Coliseum. And here is Ladies the official decision. I'll read the point totals. Judge A.D. Byron scores it 147-140. Judge Vince Delgado sees it 146-139. And Judge Abraham Chavarria Sees it 148-142 to the winner. Unanimous decision and still the Well, of course, if you watch this fight, you couldn't have been surprised. It was an easy decision by one of the classiest fighters, inch for inch and pound for pound in the world today. He fought a gallant kid, a kid who deserves a lot of credit, Juan Laporte.